Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you for joining me for today. This is Gabriel Vision Tune Lamette, and I'm really excited that you joined me for this Wellness Wednesday segment because I'm going to get a chance to actually talk about something that's very, very uh, important to me. It's something that I definitely spend a lot of time focused on and listening to, and it's the subject of music. And what we're going to do is kind of dive into a little bit of um, what types of music that I actually like listening to and some of the reasonings behind me liking these certain types and styles of music so let's go ahead and get into our subject mood music So the first style of mood music that I want to actually focus on is something that definitely goes in line with a lot of the subject matter uh, for my particular channel, and it is music for fitness. So I know that for me, I'm a person who likes to listen to a certain style of music, especially if I'm not doing like a video or like I've shared with you before, video game fitness type of things. Uh, but if I'm in there, you know, banging out the weights or if I'm on a treadmill, there are certain styles of music that I want to be able to listen to. Um, I know that over the years, you know, it's kind of morphed in different ways. I've listened to everything from E-40 to Busta Rhymes to uh, Exhibit or even My Chemical Romance or uh, System of Down. And um, it's always kind of morphed with where I am in my life at certain times. And so for where I am actually right now, the person that I know will kind of dig it in to make me go hard is my dude, Annie Minio. So, Andy Minio, if you have not heard this guy, you have to check him out. I am a fan of hip hop, and what I am more so a fan of is people who have lyrics. People that can sit there and tell me a story when it comes to them doing their rhymes. You have got me captured and in the moment. Um, I'm not really the punchline rapper type of guy, um, but I love when someone can get me into a certain uh, mind frame that will really kind of take my brain to a whole nother level and that mix with his hardcore beats that he brings out um it just allows for me to go ahead and lock in and get my workout done so andy minio thank you for your style of music because it's really been instrumental in me being able to kind of zone out and get in the zone of doing my workouts but he's not the only one so here's four more people that i actually listen to as well Okay, so the very next one that we're going to get into is what I would like to consider music that's good for stress. So I would say stress music. Um, I know that for a lot of us, sometimes when we get stressed, our music will actually reflect that. Some people don't even realize that if you're super stressed, super angry, you might be having problems with your girl and then you're listening to all these I Got Girl Problem songs uh, around that time and it kind of helps you to stay in that funk. And so what I've learned to do is when I'm really stressed out, I don't want to listen to that type of music um, because I don't want to stay below the line for too long. You know, I don't want to be the type of person that can live within a pity party. So what I like to do is listen to music that will actually uplift me and kind of put myself on a higher level of being able to look at things. And the person I listen to the most when I'm in those kind of stressful situations is actually Kirk Franklin. Now, when it comes to Kirk Franklin, I've actually been listening to Kirk Franklin for a very long time. I've kind of followed his stuff since he had, you know, Kirk Franklin and the family back in the day. Um, and he's always had music that I have felt to be very inspiring and it has really touched me. Um, it's been something that has helped me to kind of focus my center, focus my spirit. And uh, I can definitely attest to the fact that sometimes when I am at my lowest points, 
listening to enough of the messages within his music actually allowed me to come out of it. And so um, I would just encourage you. I know it's been beneficial for me. Again, all this is based on my personal journey in life. But I encourage you, the next time you're stressed out, don't put on the music that's going to allow you to stay shackled. Put on that kind of music that might have the key to unloosen those shackles. So also, I've got four other people I listen to, so check these people out as well. So the next category of music that I do want to go ahead and share with you is actually going to be what I would consider to be called feel good music. Um, if you were to ever look into my like playlist on my phone or anything like that, I've got kind of my music actually categorized based on what type of emotion it brings up and allows me to kind of tap into. And for me, I feel that even on a good day, feel good music is good and definitely on a bad day, feel good music is good. And the artists that I listen to quite a bit, I would say a whole lot, Giselle knows, um, would actually be my man, Benja. Um, Benja is an incredible artist. Uh, I will never forget the first time I heard his music. The first time I actually heard Ben Ja's music was uh, my wife and I, we were sitting there just cruising through YouTube and um, I just saw, you know, some things that they said they're recommended for you, they're recommended for you. And it was a dude with these long dreads and he was like this. And I was just like, let me check this dude out and see what's up. And uh, the song that was actually on there was, I believe, uh, Never Quit. And it just was a banger, but it had a good feeling to it. And I'm sitting there with my girl, so I'm like, man, this is a dope song. So if you have not heard Ben Ja's music, you have to check this cat out. I am a super huge fan of his. I'm hoping I can meet this dude one day because he's just really got a really good vibe. It's kind of Islander, but it's kind of R&B. It's a little bit of everything, and I didn't even heard him rhyme at this point. So it's, it's a little bit of everything into one uh, melting pot, but it's definitely good for the soul. It's definitely feel good music and check him out and then there are four other artists that you will actually see next that I would also say you should check out as well so uh, I would say probably the last thing that I would want to kind of just share with you guys just letting you know a bit more about myself is the everyday music I listen to you know what am I listening to when I'm sitting in the office getting work done here at camp or if I'm rolling down the street with the family in the car, who am I actually listening to? And anybody who knows me really well, they know that my favorite group of all time, and it'll be that way until the day they put the dirt on top of my box, is gonna be my dudes, boys to men. My guys, boys to men. Uh, anybody that knows me, like I said before, they know that Boys to Men is my number one group of all time. Uh, they dropped at a time where I was very easily influenced by great music, and these guys knew how to bring it. They had uh, high class harmonizations as well as they knew how to be able to write great songs, and they uh, they were just the total package to me when it came down to it. Um, as a kid, I remember watching them when they dropped that first album, uh, Cooley High Harmonies, and they had their style of dress, um, which was supposed to be the Alex Vanderpool era. Uh, it's a weird name, look it up. But um, I remember trying to dress like them. I couldn't afford it, so I kind of had, I guess, what would be the ghetto fabulous version of it. But I was so into those guys, it was absolutely ridiculous just because they were just so unique. Um, they were kind of like the group I used to like back in the days, Take Six, where they hung their hat on amazing harmonizations. So for all of those people who like singing, definitely look into Take Six. But Boys to Men, uh, they always were able to put that together, but they had the beats that went with it, and it was just incredible. So that's what I actually like to listen to every single day, uh, just in my regular day life of living, not when I'm having any kind of emotional up or down. It's just the vibe I like and it'll always be that way till 
probably they put the dirt on top of the box they put me in. So uh, there are also other artists I like to listen to that kind of fall within that same vein and here they are. So that is the end of this segment for today. Uh, for the Wellness Wednesday for today, I really and truly just wanted to kind of talk about music because everyday life is real life and sometimes it's not as dramatic and hard and sometimes it's just easy going and it's good to just be able to have a regular conversation and that's the vibe that I had for the Wellness Wednesday piece for this week. Um, one thing I will say within all of this, Watch the music you listen to because sometimes music will determine your attitude, your spirit, and your vibe for the entire day. And what we allow to go in our ears are very important to how we're going to have our lenses as we go into certain situations. So just be thinking of that. That's something that's very important that I believe um, some people don't really pay attention to. And it's something that should be paid attention to because again, all these things add to your wellness as a whole being and um, nothing should be neglected. So also before I close, please also leave a comment on this video. I'd like to hear what kind of music you like to listen to when you are just in a feel-good moment or when you're stressed because there are certain music styles that obviously I haven't heard I don't know everything about all music that's ever been created or produced um, but I like learning new things and learning more about what people like and um, you leaving a comment will allow me to be able to have that experience and so I would greatly appreciate it at the same time make sure you hit a like and a subscribe to the channel and uh, I think that that's it for me today. I'll be looking to see you guys at the end of the week for our Spotlight Saturday segment. So you guys have a wonderful week. Let's get through this hump day and listen to some good music. Bye-bye.